We must go beyond merely reacting to the short-term expediencies created by the crisis and look to coordinated employment and social protection plans as the basis for productivity, growth and fiscal consolidation. As uh, Dominic said, at the unprecedented conference organised by the IMF and the ILO in Oslo, both leaders, one Samavir and Dominic Strauss-Kahn, agreed that the world needed leadership on the fundamentals of an income-led recovery, quality employment and a social protection floor. Workers and their families are looking to them to construct the evidence, detail the costs and advocate the strategies to advise governments of a better and indeed a sustainable pathway to growth. The world needs a new growth model, and you'll see trade union leaders talking about this here with the ITUC and TUAC this week. Our leaders must decide now that they will support a global social protection floor and provide kickstart funding for the poorest countries. A global fund to both lift people out of poverty and establish a demand floor. They must decide now that they will restructure our economies to create the green jobs that can achieve the low carbon economy that the planet needs. And they must decide now that they will prevent the levels of, uh, of inequity that allowed the crisis to fester and explode. This requires wealth distribution mechanisms that ensure affordable finance for the real economy, a minimum wage on which working people can live and good faith collective bargaining. Trade unions are already there. Just last week, we called for an employment youth pact at the preparatory meeting of the Labor Ministers uh, of the G20. And, uh, and indeed, we know that we're willing to be partners in global coherence. We need to promote a society in which workers' representatives, trade unions, can ensure that workers are protected and that the benefits of growth are shared equitably amongst all people, closing the divides that have opened up in too many countries between young and old, rural and urban, insiders and outsiders, women and men. In short, we need a wholesale restructural uh, or a structural regeneration of our economies, a new vision for growth supported by genuine social dialogue with the actors in the real economy, workers and employers. But will we see the necessary leadership from the G20? That's the question for 2011.